Now let's look at this example for single sampling plan. For this single sampling plan, we have incoming lot size equals 10,000, and then the sample size is 100. C is the acceptance number for this problem is 2, and then we use D represents the observed number of defectives in these 100 samples. So step one for this single sampling plan is randomly take 100 samples from the 10,000 lot. Step two, inspect this 100 samples. Step three, decision. So if we have number of defect D equals zero, our decision is accept the lot because zero is less than zero is less than two, which is our acceptance number. So if we have number of defects D equals one, again we accept the lot because here one is less than C2. And then if we have number of defects equals two, our decision is also accept the lot because two equals two, so we have number of defect equals acceptance number. So if we have D equals three, or greater, let's say four or five, or six or seven, our decision is to reject a lot. Because the number of defect exists our acceptance number two. So that's single sampling plan. That's single sampling plan. And how to calculate the probability for single sampling plan? We have an equation here. The probability of accept a lot equals n factorial divided by d factorial times n subtract d factorial times p the power of d times 1 subtract p the power of n minus d. Now let's look at our scenario number one here. For this scenario, we have d equals 0 n equals 100, which is 100 samples. So we have n subtract d equals 100. And then what is p here? p equals the proportion of defect in this lot. So if p here equals 100, let's assume there are so I assume, for example, let's say there are 200 defectives, 200 defectives in the lot. So we have P equals 200 divided by 10,000, which gives us 0 0.02. So if this is the case, the probability of accept 
the labs for scenario number one is going to be Excel function is called factor, F-A-C-T, the factorial of N, which is 100, divided by the factorial of D, which is 0, times, I need a parenthesis here, so I need a parenthesis here, times the factorial of and subtract B, which is 100 again, I call parentheses, times P, which is 0 0.02, the power of D, which is 0, and times parentheses, 1 subtract P, 0 0.02, the factorial of N subtract D, which is 100 subtract 2, 100 subtract 0, so I have the probability of accept the lot equals 0 0.1326 something. So this is the probability of D equals 0. So this 2, so here is the probability of D equals 0. And then we can also sub find out what is the probability when D equals 1. A equals 100, so I subtract D equals 100 subtract 1, which is 99, and then we have P again equals 0 0.02, so at this scenario, so this is when D equals 1, we have the probability equals the factorial 100, divided by factorial 1, plus d equals 1, times factorial 100 subtract 1, which is 99, times 0 0.02, that's p, the power of 1, times 1 subtract p, 0 0.02, the power of and with 100 subtract D, so we have the probability equals 0 0.27065. So this is the probability of N of D equals 1, so that's here. And then use the same equation, we can calculate the probability of when D equals 2. A equals 100. A subtract D equals 99, 28. And P is 0.02. So we have the probability of acceptance of the lot equals the factorial 100 divided by factorial 2 times factorial 100 subtract 2 times 0 0.02, the power of 2, times 1 subtract 0 0.02, the power of 100 subtract 2, so 0 0.2734. So this is the probability when D equals 2. And then we add these three up, we add these three up, this one plus this one plus this one, and this is the probability that if we use a single sampling plan with the above information, if we use a single sampling plan, this is the probability of accept the lot. So this is the probability of we accept the 10,000 lot with sample size equals 100 and acceptance number equals 2 single sampling plan. So that's the example of single sampling plan.